In today's editorial page, we're getting everyone's opinions on if Kirk Cousins should choose the money or the team that's most ready to win now when he hits free agency next Wednesday. We know the Jets have as much money as just about anyone, maybe not the Browns, but everybody else to throw at Cousins. But the Vikings just went to the NFC Championship game. They are clearly much more ready to win now. What should matter more to Cousins, Willie, joining a winning situation or getting the most money? Uh, personally, going to a winning situation, you know, as, as a fan, you're sitting here, you're like, listen, we need a quarterback. I understand that, but you also need a defense. There's a lot of holes on the Jets, on that side of the Jets' defense. If you're going to bring Kirk Cousins' hands, you feel like he's going to be a world beater, you got to believe that the talent they have right now, he can get it done. And I don't know if he can. He didn't get it done in Washington. So right now, I'm looking at a guy who, listen, if you come in here, there's going to be a lot of you. We don't have a tight end. We, we need more depth on the offensive line. There's holes in the defense. The biggest problem with the Jets right now, Todd Bowles is signed for two years, and it's almost we're in panic mode because he doesn't want to go out a loser. So you're trying to get a quarterback to hopefully be your answer, and I don't know if he's it. But before we move on to you guys, you've been through this process. We yep. have not. When you're looking for a situation, should you be concerned with getting the most money, which is obviously an important thing, or should you be concerned with the situation as a player that you're going to? Well, I was in this position because I think my last year uh, after our Super Bowl win, I had a chance to either stay with the Steelers or go on to the Chicago Bears and make more money. Mm -hmm. I looked around my locker room and saw six Hall of Famers. If it was no brand, I'm staying with the Steelers. Because for me, <laughs> winning meant more. It's tough to get your head cracked every Sunday, knowing your bank account's being fat, getting fat. But at the end of the day, you're taking L's because you just don't have the talent nor the depth, depth to compete. So for me, I listen, winning meant more. But there's a lot of guys say, hey, I have enough confidence in my own self and talent. I'm going to make the money and go elsewhere. Bob? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a question that usually gets answered by the fact that the guys usually, Willie's a, an exception, obviously, to this rule, but they take more money. Yeah. But he's got a way out in his own mind. Do I want to be rich and fail? And I put the failure in quotes because, you know, they could be competitive and not get there. But Or go to a team where I have a better chance of winning. If the money's close, I think he goes to Minnesota. But if the Jets blow him off the map and the, the – uh, the difference is a lot. I think he goes to the Jets. Also, Pete, if the Jets can convince him that they have a real plan to build around him, because yeah. we are presenting this a little bit uh, to extremes. Get the money and don't win or take less and win. I mean, it may not be that way. The Jets might convince him they have a real plan to win here. Right. Now, I don't know how how uh, different the, the offers are going to be for Cousins. But, yeah, you're right. Like, if the Jets, you know, if the Jets can turn it around quickly, if they can sign Cousins, you know, teams in the NFL sometimes don't, you know, don't take forever to turn around. The Jets have had their issues over the years, obviously, and, and have, a, have a lot of holes to fill. But at the same time, you know, look at Jacksonville. Look how quickly they turned around their, their team to get to the AFC Championship game this year, right? So, I mean, if you can fill the holes, if they have a, a lot of money to spend, even after giving Cousins a ton of money, you know, I think that could be a good fit. And, look, he's made a ton already. Yeah. But I'm interested in the point you said about how you, if you were going to get your head cracked open, as you put it, you wanted to be in a winning situation. But there's another way to take it, and I'm curious the player's mindset. If you're going to get your head cracked open, make every dollar you can while you can get it. Right. So that's why I, I, it's interesting the way well, you, you still it. have it. Well, right, right. right. Yeah, and I understand he's never going to be in this position again in his life. So right. he has to weigh that in. But also, you know, reportedly the Vikings are willing to offer him $91 million, fully guaranteed. Also, the Vikings were in a, a game away from going to the NFC Championship. It's a no-brainer for me. I think if, if you're Kirk Cousins, you haven't won anything yet. Your legacy and how you are, are going to be this, in history described as a quarterback if you win the Super Bowls or not. That's how we judge football players. So if you go on that uh, resume, you have to go to Minnesota. I, valid. I know some Jets fans are like, what are you talking about, Willie? But we need more help. Kirk Cousins won't be the only answer for this Jets team. Yeah, I really, I really agree with that because, you know, how much more money does he need? And the fact of the matter is, he has a chance to go to the Super Bowl with Minnesota. Yep. The Jets would have to do an awful lot to bring that back. So it seems like he's got all this money already, and he's been doubted all his career. He's, you know, not being able to win the big games. This puts him right in there to turn that narrative around. You know, we're all talking about everybody's needs. What about my need for a quarterback? <laughs> I, mean, come, can we, I mean, I thought you would say, what about your need for $90 you, million? You need dollars. Well, I have that, too. You give me the $90 million, you can have the quarterback. You need a quarterback, a pass rush, a tight end, and another corner. Oh, we got to start somewhere. I can't <laughs> fix the whole world in a day. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the way this plays out. Uh, obviously, the Jets and the Vikings talked about a lot in this scenario. Still ahead on.